why I am not doing this show no more and I'm still at 6% body fat and I'm still working out but I'm not doing the show no more. So honestly the truth why I'm not doing the show is it's pretty plain and simple. I was really upset when I heard the news but nothing really that I was able to do about it. the past what, a month that it comes at 4 in the morning or 4 30 or 5 30. bro you're never here i'm always here you're never I here see. <laughs> he, he lied 4 30 i don't wake up <laughs> he lied but five i will five is good okay five is my time he lied bro Get the 
guys what a what a day so far i'm gonna gonna explain to you guys real quick what happened because i gotta go to work but i had a guy come up to me i was recording today i hope you guys enjoyed the whole little workout but uh, i was recording in the gym and some guy came up to me as i had already put on my shirt on and he cussed me out he said that i was being rude for having my phone on and recording myself and um, I, was, I was recording myself and I was taking photos of me. Well, I, well, actually, was helping me out. And he said oh, I was rude, I was being a dick. And he was cussing me out after I already put on my shirt. And he, he complained to the front desk that they, they want to cancel my membership. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I've been told to put my phone away, you know, another spot, never at the gym. And I guess he didn't like it. He said I was being disrespectful. I was recording and uh, and, I, and I, it was always some clips you guys saw that I had my shirt off so I guess I was serving to him but it is what it is I don't know I'm not gonna let it ruin my day I told him I was like look man I don't mean to disrespect you like I'm just I was just doing it for, the, for this quick little clip and that's it and then there was nobody around me and he, he just he just kept going on and on like he even followed me to the locker room when I was gonna go change to shower you know and he was he just kid running his mouth and i just kind of just let him talk <laughs> i was like what, what's your problem you know but it is what it is guys good morning hope you guys enjoyed the vlog the vlog is gonna keep going it don't matter man we stay recording we stay vlogging man i said it on my last last video we vlog every day man this is a passion of mine i love doing this i'm not gonna stop it regardless so i hope you guys are having a beautiful day make sure to like comment share, and subscribe all that good stuff i see you guys on the next clip Situation, man. Oh, man. Hold on, let me tell you. Oh man, it is cold. <laughs> this is bad, man. I'm at six percent body fat right now, and I'm over here in the cold. Oh man. Okay, so real quick, I didn't have this book. If you guys remember from my last, 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 last video, I didn't have this book in stock. They never called, I had to purchase it, they were gonna call me or email me when they received the book. They never called me or email me when they received the book. But it turns out because they never received the book that I ordered. They received the used rental one. So that's why they never called me. So you know, I need a book for class. Of course, I was just doing everything freaking Google. Thank you, Google. But, so yeah, I never freaking, so I went, I went last week to get the book. And this kid, man, this kid was trying to have me buy the book that I already bought and then purchase this one because I was like, no, yeah, I'm not paying for two bucks. What the fuck you talking about, man? I can't cuss on YouTube, man. So, no, dude, and he was trying to push me to get the book. He said, take the book. You need the book. Don't you need the book for class? I'm like, yeah, fool, but I need, I need my money back, too. The, the difference from this book and that book. So I came right now because I found the receipt that they're taking forever. Why well, didn't find the receipt? I actually found a little paper here that I purchased the book at the receipt. And so I had to talk to the manager, made a big deal like always. And I got my money back for the difference. And I got the book because I was not going to pay for two bucks. And I have some bad news to tell you guys too, man. I'm at 6% body fat literally for no reason right now. I'm doing it just to look good right now. Which sucks. Because I shouldn't be at this body fat percentage for no reason. 
but you guys will find out about that in the next clip. Like I had said earlier, guys, I don't think there's any better feeling than coming home to some packages. Let's open this baby up. I was waiting for this. It actually came really fast. I ordered this shit on Saturday and I got it today, Tuesday. So that's great. Yeah, so I ordered a phone case for my new phone. It should be coming in pretty soon. Alright, so we got here. Uh oh, we got a following the train. Got a pop socket for the train. And finally got my knee sleeves. Something that I've been you guys know what happened with my quad, man. So I ordered this baby size medium. I'm actually gonna try them on before I gotta have another meal. You know what? I'm gonna show you guys my meal. Just heated it up. I was gonna get out of work, but I didn't have time. I have four ounces of uh, asparagus, that's my spinach, and eight ounces of chicken. Which I can't wait to have. So heat it up, man. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna truth. So I ordered the. What are these things called? I don't even know what they're called, man. Red, red band, seven, seven millimeter knee sleeves, or size medium. Now, when I do legs, if you guys you know see my videos, I do legs either with sweats on or with shorts on, which are actually right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try them on with both, see how they feel, okay? Now, beforehand, I did, this is my first time ever wearing knee sleeves, but I did, I did do my research, because I know it's really hard to put them on. So I researched that if you put them on backwards, it's way easier. So, this is my messed up quad. It's still a little bit swollen, but I'm still gonna try it on. Cause not tomorrow, but the following day, I'm doing legs again. So I'm gonna wanna wear them because I just got them, of course. Man, the pot I'm wearing. What the heck? <coughs> oh man, this one's way tighter. Yeah, my quad is still there with this one. Hope you guys can see me right here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to squat. See how they, how they feel when I squat. Okay, here we go. So narrow, toes a little bit out, bars here. Elbows are forward, my back is tight, my glutes are tight. Oh, hell yeah. You feel right away that bounce, which is really what I want. Kind of when you squat down with these, I'm making you want to do this. Which is supposed to, they're supposed to not only keep your knees warm and tight, but also you know, help you push more weight. So. They are feeling pretty good. But now, let's try them on without the sweats. See how they feel just like that with my shorts. That's kind of what I mentioned earlier. You know, you feel that, that tightness as you go down. Makes you want to push higher, which is good, man. So, so far, I'm loving these, man. I got them from Amazon. For the ones that want to know, I got them on Amazon for 35 bucks each. So that they don't they don't come in they don't come in pairs, kind of sucks. So 35 bucks each. So it came out, you know, like 60 to 75 bucks. So yeah. <clears throat> but I know definitely that there are they are gonna oh, ow. They are gonna be good. So I'm gonna need them. By the way. I did already take off the all the little the tape that he had on me. You can see the strap right here. It's just my quad right now. It's the purple right here. It's a little, still a little swollen, you know, compared to this one. I can flex it, but it, you can see the difference. So, pretty sure on the video, you will have more definition than this one. But, all right, guys. Like I said, the, like a couple of clips before, I'm gonna explain to you guys why. I am not doing this show no more. 
and I'm still at 6% body fat, and I'm still working out, but I'm not doing the show no more. So honestly, the truth to why I'm not doing the show is, it's pretty plain and simple. I was really upset when I heard the news, but nothing really that I was able to do about it. Basically, the show that was going to be here in my hometown, in Bakersfield, it got canceled. The promoter or whoever was going to be the one making the show, promoting the show, he decided to cancel the whole thing. So, boom, no more show. Just like that. So I was pretty upset. I don't really know what to do. I was just, when Tony told me that it was canceled and I was already like 10 weeks out or nine weeks out from the show, I don't remember. So I was like, holy crap, what the hell did we do? And I, I was overthinking it because, you know, prep, your brain is like not always there. I, had, I have other things that are going on in my, in, in my world, you know, like other things that are business-wise, relationship-wise. It's kind of everything that's just around basically all of us, really. So I was like, holy crap, what did I do? And then, you know, I kind of got like chinned by Tony. He was like, dude, just, we can just look up another show. So we looked up another show. So yes, I am doing another show. However, it's not going to be in March anymore. This show is now in April. And I'm kind of upset because in my first episode of the Shredding Saga, I explained how I don't want to travel no more for my first show. I mean, for my next show, because then when traveling or you're on peak week, it was just sucked. It was just painful. I was dizzy. I, I, I hold water. But it is what it is. Basically, the show is not here in my hometown no more. It's actually going to be in LA again. Corona, so in Los Angeles, Corona, that is like two hours from here. And um, the date, the date, the date, you guys don't know the date. So the date is gonna be in April 7th. That's a Saturday. And so that means that though it, it kind of turned out to be a little of a better thing that, it, that the show is then, because actually the prep went longer. So I was able to slow things down so like, you know, the prep is longer. So I, a couple of you guys did ask me why I went from being one week, I was eight weeks out, and then boom, I'm back to, I'm, I went back up to 11 weeks out. So a couple of you guys did notice that on my hashtags and on my videos when I was saying that. Some of you guys didn't, that's cool, whatever. But yeah, so right now, I'm currently seven weeks out. The show is in April, April 7th. I'm really, really excited. If you guys have been keeping up with my social media, my Instagram, my Snapchat, and of course my YouTube, you guys see how I am looking really, really, really different compared to last year. Really, really different. My back came up a lot. I'm looking more bigger, defined, more fuller. My quads are looking better. Even though I got this purple thing right here, like, you know, this purple little thing going on right here with my knee, you know. This, this, this is, you know, it's a little, it was a little bit of a setback but it's gonna go away soon. So yeah, pretty excited guys. So if you guys, so I mean the show saga is gonna be April 7th. I don't know when the episode is gonna go up because we still have a couple weeks left and seven weeks out. So super excited. We're taking home the gold. We're taking home, hold on man. So yes, we took, we, yes, we took the thumbnail here. So you know, last year I won these two trophies. I got third place and open. First place in novice, same name, trophy. But this time, you know, I'm going, I want to really, really want to take the first, but at the same time, I'm not really, really like fully like, ah, I really want to, my main goal, it, which it was, is to bring a way better package, bring a better physique, you know, challenge myself, which is what I'm doing this time, I'm going to school, working, everything is going around. But now I want to take first, and uh, but I also want to, you know, I want to see how much I, how shredded, 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 I can be in my physique. So I'm super excited, guys. So April 7 is the date. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.